So I've actually downloaded quite a lot of Mecha Godzillas. We're just going to use this one and see how it does. So let's start the battle. Here we go. Oh, here come the missiles. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today's first suggestion says day one of asking Fudgy to make Gary a cat. Armored up, scaled down tiger. Right, so here's the tiger. This is the normal size one, but I say we only scale it down to 0.8 because Gary's family, well, they're all pretty large and the cat would just look tiny if we scale it down too much. I mean... That's a little ridiculous. Oh, no, Even no, 0.5 no. is probably a little bit too small. I don't know. Let's just do 0.8 because that way it won't freak out that much. And now the next thing we need to do is add armor. Perfect. Oh, uh, perfect. <laughs> All right. How do we want to armor up this guy right here? I, I think shoulder pads on the side like this. Okay, maybe not like that. It might look okay. Sure, why not? Now, since this is Gary's cat, I feel like we should give him big googly eyes. <laughs> oh, that just looks scary. Okay, well, I'm keeping it anyway. Now, the suggestion never said to add any weapons, but I'm going to give this cat some weapons anyway. So let's go ahead, add a spike in the middle here. That should help out from any punch attacks from above. And we'll also put some blades on the side here as well. I reckon that could help out quite a lot in the fight. There we go. Two on that side and then two on the other side as well. And now the rest of the family have shown up. So we have a parrot, little hamster thing here, cat and a dog. And they are going up against Barry and his team. And here's Terry. Terry the cyborg. Start the battle. Here we go. Oh, no. Terry is getting the parrot right now. Okay, where is the cat? Can anyone see the cat? Um, please don't be dead already. No, <laughs> the cat's been defeated. So something that you need to remember about this creature right here, the tiger, is compared to the animals and the other people it's up against, it's really not that powerful. But I'm sure the cat will do some damage anyway. Oh, look at the yoga lord. Wait, is Barry's team going to win? No, they are. Barry's team are becoming too powerful. Now Gary can't take him down. And the big brother is now dead. Uh-oh, the hamster. He's always the last alive and he just got messed up. So I'm sure we'll see the cat in action some more very soon. Especially as the next suggestion here says day two of asking for a flying worm with small grapple hook in its mouth as a pet for Barry. All right, so I actually did this in my last Animal Revolt Battle Simulator episode. At the very end of it, I gave the worm some wings. So this is going to be a very interesting animal for Barry's team. Right, here we go. Giant invertebrates. And then we go to the blade worm. Do we? I think we just leave it as it is. Now, because it is having wings put on, let's put it to the back here. So that now means Barry's team and Gary's team both have flying pets. All right, giant, ugly looking worm. Look at the state of that. That is disgusting. Let's just go ahead and put the grappling hook in there first, the harpoon. Can we even do this? Is it even possible? Oh, okay. It does work. It might look a little odd though. Okay, there we go. So like that, that might be the best we're going to get it. Okay, so now we need to move on to limbs and then go for the wings. What kind of wings do we want? This? No. You know what? Those wings look a little too nice for this worm. So let's try these ones. Maybe stick to the red we got going on here. I feel like, yeah, these are probably going to work the best. They're like the wyvern wings. And there we go. Start the battle. Oh, look at it go. Look at that thing. Oh, it's grappling onto the parrot. Parrot versus weird worm thing. Let's see who will win. Clearly not the parrot because the parrot is dead. So the issue is, I don't think... The grapple will be able to lift any of them up. They're all too heavy. Oh, we're getting the nephew. Oh, no. <laughs> the worm is now dead. Yeah, but because all the other units are so heavy, unfortunately, the grapple won't be able to pick them up. Unless it's maybe the hamster or possibly even the cat. I'm not too sure. There we go. Barry's team have once again won. So this should be interesting. Let's try the new cat versus the flying worm. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the worm can pick it up. Oh, oh, a little bit. Maybe. No, I think that's just it running. I wonder who's going to win, though. I really don't know. No stats have been changed on these creations, so it's hard to tell right now. I haven't seen the worm in action that much in this game either, so I don't really know how powerful it really is. Oh, it's flying with the cat. What the? <laughs> they're going around in circles right now. What is this fight? Oh, they're, oh, big attack from the worm there. Oh, where are you going? Oh, no. What's happening? What? 
Oh, no, there goes the cat and the worm. I guess we'll never know who was more powerful. Next suggestion. Day one of asking for a lava golem with wings. Just wondering if it would do flips in the air. So this is a giant one right here. Let's remove him and we'll just scale it back down. I don't know why I even scared up. So one, I'm excited to try this out. I have no idea if it will still be able to roll or not. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Right, limbs, wings. What wings would look best? Probably, I don't know, same wings as the weird worm thing. Ooh, look, it's going to be hard to be in the middle here because of his shoulders and his, his back. Uh, unless we do it on his head. Sure, looks a little weird, but I should do. So here we have some Spartan warriors. Let's see what happens here, shall we? Right, he's taken off. What's he going to do? Oh, oh, he's rolling. <laughs> it still works. Okay, so he actually goes down. That actually might help him out. That looks really cool, though, with the wings, I have to say. So the experiment was a success. I feel like he actually gets more momentum as well when he's up in the air like that. He can probably crush them a lot more. Come on, do it again. Roll. Oh, he's burning him alive. Look at that. The lava golem is actually a massive savage when I think about it. Oh, and the last one is down. Look at him go. He's beautiful. So I have less confidence in this fight, but we have Goru here. Okay, do the roll. Get ready for it. Roll. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. The thing is, the minute he rolls, he can't stay in the air, of course, because the wings. Oh, that's a bit buggy. The wings can't really flap if he's rolling about. Get out of there, Lava Golem. Oh, big slam right there. Goru's most powerful attack that slam is, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but if you look at the health. Oh, he's rolling again. I like how he just rolls off the top of his back. So health-wise, they're not too far apart. Uh, Goru is winning this fight, but you never know. Things might change. Oh, no. Ooh. And he is dead. Goru is victorious. But what if Goru here had wings as well? That's going to make things interesting. Okay, well, he's going to have to have the wings on his head as well. Uh, let's do 1.2. And now fly and fight. Here we go. That looks so weird. Oh, Goro's too heavy. Oh, yeah, I don't think Goro could fly with those wings. Probably have to make it a little larger. Now it just looks like a real mess, this fight. Oh, Goro. <laughs> those punch attacks. Oh, wow. That was, that was a lot faster than last time. So let's try and give him giant wings. Yes, all the way up to five. And we have takeoff. <laughs> there we go. That works. That looks so ridiculous. Um, Goro, you, you gonna come back down, buddy? There we go. They're fighting in the air right now. This is such a weird fight. Come on. Oh, he's, he's grabbed him for a second there. Grab again. Grab again. That's it. There we go. He's got him. Oh, <laughs> look at him punching him in the air. That's insane. I love these new wings. Such a cool addition to the game. Oh, Goru's coming back down. Come on, Goru. Ooh. <laughs> These wings are far too big. Lava Golem is now almost dead. Not much health left. Why are you rolling, dude? <laughs> He's in the air. Rolling won't do anything. Ooh. What's going on here, Goru? You just hanging out? Oh, he's on the wing. Whee! Goru, get back down here, bro. Just finish the job. He hasn't got much health left. Oh, look here, bro. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? The minute he starts to roll, he just drops out the sky like he should. Oh, and now he's dead. Moving on. It says here, day one of asking Fudgy to upgrade the new Hydra and then up all of its stats to 1,904. Very specific. Then make it fight Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla at the same time. Right. So... I've actually scaled this guy up. He's at 1.6 at the moment. So he should be roughly the same size as Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. So the next thing we need to do is uh, change all the stats to 1,904. I don't know why that is. We'll even change the uh, detection distance as well. Right, there we go. And place. So the next thing we need to do is armor this guy up and probably give him some weapons i might keep the stats the same as well for the weapons because if they're just set to one or wherever the default is it's gonna do nothing to godzilla so armor what would look good on this giant hydra right here what do we go for i mean he has five heads how do we upgrade this guy do we give them all helmets? We're just going to look really weird. To be fair, we could give him extra spikes using the helmet like that. But again, I don't know if that really works out. 
Okay, you know what? It's not a bad idea, but we're going to remove it anyway. I think it might be a better idea for me to focus more on the weapons than the armor, though, because this is a very difficult unit, I feel like, to armor up. So for the blades, I reckon if we go for maybe 500, that seems like quite a lot. Maybe too much. Or is it too little? I guess we'll find out very soon. Right, so far, so good. We now have a bunch of blades on all five of the heads. And there's some extra blades on the legs here. So let's go ahead, get Godzilla, and see who will win. Now, I know the suggestion also mentioned Mecha Godzilla, but I want to see what it's like against just Godzilla to begin with. And then if we win, we can take on Mecha Godzilla as well. But honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen here. Let's check on the health, shall we? Right, you know what? Things are looking pretty good for the Hydra here. <gasps> yes, Godzilla is dying. It's working. Maybe the person who suggested this figured out all the right stats to take them both down. That could be why we have that number there. I'm not too sure. Oh, Godzilla's falling and he is dead. Nice. But that's probably because of full damage. But these guys would have won anyway. Also, when I say these guys... Are they just one creature? I don't know. Let's just move on to the next fight. So I've actually downloaded quite a lot of Mecha Godzillas. We're just going to use this one and see how it does. So let's start the battle. Here we go. Oh, here come the missiles. That's going to be bad. Two versus one. Or two versus five, maybe. Right, health-wise, let's have a look. I feel like the Hydra is still winning this one. You can see that the uh, Mecha Godzilla here has taken some damage. And yet, all of the Hydra heads haven't. Yeah, this Hydra is a lot more powerful than I thought it would be, to be honest. Uh-oh. We've been flanked by Godzilla. That means we can't deal any damage to it. <laughs> Look at it. It's just clawing his tail. Okay, so this main head, I think the one in the middle, one of the larger ones, have taken a little bit of damage. Oh, so is this right one as well. But the fight is still ongoing. This is insane. This is such a huge fight right here. A braided Hydra versus Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla, the battle of the beasts. So in this game, we do have slow motion, but you know, maybe it might be a good idea if we could also have the option to speed up time for moments like this, because this fight might go on for quite a while. But if we take a look at Mecha Godzilla's health here, he has taken quite a bit of damage, so he should eventually die. As for Godzilla here, well, I'm not sure if any of the Hydra heads are actually attacking him. Oh, maybe this one is. Yes, there we go. Yes, bite his hand. That's better. Oh, they just took down Godzilla. That's one down. Only one to go. Now they can focus all their energy on this guy right here. Uh, <laughs> I might have just knocked Mecha Godzilla off the map, but let's face it. The Hydra here was definitely going to win. It took down Godzilla, and it was on its way to taking that down too. Good job, guys. So the Hydra here definitely got the win, but can it take down Mr. Fluffy? Go fight! Oh, he's dead straight away because we upped the stats of that thing. Mr. Fluffy didn't stand a chance. But what about the Peacock Brachiosaurus? Fire! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Oh, what a mess. The Hydra won, but it's been flung out the map. So it's also dead. Whee! Hydra, fall back. You don't want to fight this next creation because it is SpongeBob. Oh my goodness, get out of there, Hydra. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. SpongeBob's dead. Never mind. So the Hydra here is undefeated until now because we have here the army killer. Wait for it. Any second now, the Hydra will die. Still alive so far. Oh, you see, the issue is here. The T-Rex has to take down each head individually, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But just like that, the army killer has won. But anyway, on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!